YouTube. Today we are out here with a true icon of America, the lever action rifle. This is actually a Brazilian made one. This is a Rossi R95 3030 laminate, 6.8 pounds, 20 inch barrel, 1 and 12 inch rifling twist, right handed. Beautiful. Comes with the top rail, uh, comes with peep sights installed from the factory. Now, when this one came in, this top rail was loose. I had to uh, take the screws out. I had to take the screws out, lock tight them, and put them back in. So if you get one of these, make sure your top rail is actually tight. Okay, otherwise that's going to be problematic. We have a uh, CV Life Wolf Covart XSO1 28 millimeter competition window circle dot reticle. This is a very nice red dot. This is brand new from CV Life. They just came out with this. I'll have a review coming up on this real soon. Uh, I have a couple of them. I've been using them on different firearms. Very, very fast and handy on a gun like this, as you will see. But, it, you know, this whole combination, boy, this is an absolutely beautiful firearm. Stainless steel, obviously. The action is nice and smooth. I just oiled her up. She's really nice. She's got a cross bolt safety. Now, the safety does not disable the trigger. It just prevents the hammer from striking the firing pin, okay? Now, on the button, if you look at it from the side, you can see red, you're dead. No red, safe. But be careful with this because if you think you've got your safety on and you pull the trigger to lower the hammer and you don't have the safety on, it's going to fire. So I highly recommend that even if you're using the safety, Ease that thumb, ease that hammer down with your thumb, okay? Just for safety precautions. But, you know, once you get it down and the uh, hammer's in the half cock position, you can disengage that safety, okay? Or you can keep it on whatever you prefer. Right. Now, to remove the safety, there's a bit of pressure on it, so you can't just take it off. What you got to do, if you want to remove the safety, is pull the hammer back a little tiny bit and then disengage it. Okay, me personally, what I would do, put your safety on, lower your hammer down, put a little bit of pressure backward, let it in, and then manually pull it back to this half cock position. And this way, nothing can go wrong. And then when you see a target that you want to hit, you just cock it and go right up on target. Okay, so that's how I would use this. But, you know, everybody's mileage is different. Personally, I think it should just lock the trigger, but, you know, it's not how they designed it. But this is a beautiful gun. Uh, the construction is really nice. The finish is just fantastic. Take a look at that. Just classy. We got the paracord wrap around the uh, big loop, which is very popular with nowadays. There is enough rail space that you could easily mount a uh, flashlight on there, so that you could have the, you could use this as a home defense weapon with a mounted flashlight and a, a red dot and you would not be losing anything. You know, if you're in one of them states where you can't have semi-autos or they restrict your capacity to 10 rounds, if you have a 10 round 223 or you can get a, you know, a six round 3030. And honestly, they make this also in 357 Magnum, I believe. So your capacity is going to kick up to eight or nine rounds. And a 357 Magnum from a rifle barrel is about the same firepower Got the same power level as a uh, 7.62x39 rifle. So, something like this in a state like that, this is an extremely viable defensive option. But, you know, this is going to be used as a hunting gun, and this is a uh, beautiful gun for out in the field. And bad weather, it's not going to rust on you. Just absolutely gorgeous, you know. This would be perfectly at home in Alaska or up in the Northeast in the Rust Belt where you get hunting seasons, just rain, 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 cold, snow, you know, miserable conditions. This would be perfect for that because you're just not going to have any rusting issues. A lot of competitors use a Rossi in a cowboy action shooting and such uh, because they're, you know, let's face it, it's a lot less money than a Ruger or Marlin, you know, or especially a Winchester. So you could save quite a few bucks up front on this. The uh, MSRP on this is like twelve ninety five or something, but we picked this one up for a thousand dollars. This is actually one of my neighbor's guns. 
and uh, he was able to get this brand new for a thousand dollars so absolutely beautiful um, price is very competitive compared to all its competitors but what I was saying is a lot of competitors will use these Rossies to save some money in cowboy action shooting but they'll do a little bit of modification to them you know they'll uh, open up the uh, loading port a little bit bevel it out a little bit you know they they uh, do some work on the trigger and stuff like that and that's something that you can definitely look up online or there's probably a million videos on how to tune a Rossi for uh, cowboy action shooting. But this is a viable option for that. And if you showed up with this sucker, boy, you would definitely have the prettiest rifle. You would definitely have the prettiest rifle at the competition. Just absolutely gorgeous. So I haven't even zeroed this yet. We're going to uh, zero this thing in. Hopefully that won't take but a few rounds because uh, ammunition is not cheap nowadays. We'll get this all zeroed in, and then I'll do some shooting at 100 yards, and I'll hit a couple targets at close range just to show you, you know, multiple targets, left to right, just to show you how quick and easy this is to acquire with this dot, this type of sight, and uh, put rounds on target rapidly. So what that simulates really well is a moving target, which if you're shooting at a deer bounding through the woods, or, you know, a black bear charging you or something like that, it's good to be able to hit a moving target, so... All right, let's get set up here and we'll do some shooting. Okay, folks, we're gonna be zeroing with this Hornady American Whitetail. This is a jacketed soft point bullet. We're gonna start out zeroing here at about 15 yards just to make sure we're on paper. Then we'll go back to 25 yards, get our final zero. Okay, stand by. Okay, so here's our rounds right here. We started out at about 12 yards we were zeroing at. We started out far right here, and you could see the adjustments I made, and we got right on the bullseye there. I was aiming right at the two. So our last round's pretty much dead bullseye. Now we're gonna move back to 25 yards. When you're zeroing with a red dot like this, you wanna put the dot as dim as you can where you could still see it so you can get the most precise shot possible. Let's go check it out. Okay, folks, these were our last two two-shot groups. This was uh, next to last adjustment, the bigger holes you can see. And this was our final adjustment. And I did pull that top round a little bit. So we are definitely good to go here. Okay, folks, we're going to do some speed shooting at what we would call home defense or bear defense range. All right, folks, so that was our review of the Rossi R95 laminate in 3030. You, you got to see that this rifle shoots really well, and it is a great, perfect combination with this red dot sight. I mean, really go together well. It's like, you know, what a setup, right? Uh, if you lived in a slave state, this would be absolutely perfect for home defense. If you're out in a rural area, perfect for home defense and uh, homestead defense. Like, I'm on a big homestead way out here in the country, and this, this would be perfect for that sort of thing. And if uh, you're a deer hunter, and really 30-30 would be fine for anything up to black bear. So, you know, if you're a big game hunter in America, 
more animals have been taken with 3030 than any other caliber, they say. And that will probably never change. All right, folks, I really appreciate you watching this video of this absolutely beautiful firearm. I hope you enjoyed it, found it informative. You all have a wonderful day. Greet them by me. Out. Yeah.